bright and early in the morning. That's where your brain works the best, you know. That's why the monks, you know the monks, like the, the Buddhist monks, they meditate at 6 a.m. in the morning because they found that that's the time where you're closest to God. Where you're closest to some sort of some sort of higher being. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting on this big day in our banana republic. Big day in our banana republic. We have. Let me cover two stories. Right? Just briefly, the wall. Uh, the, the 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 what what Trump agreed to, and what Trump is about to sign in terms of the border wall. And I want to talk, go more in depth. I'm just going to touch on that one, but go more in depth on. Uh, the McCabe debacle, the 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 uh, you know McCabe, Andrew McCabe, FBI director, the revelation of the corruption, massive revelation. So, but I want to, I just want to start with a story because a lot of people are like, who the hell is this guy? You don't fucking know what he's talking about. He's he's, he's got no qualifications. Well, I actually do because. I was one of the persons, I was the only person, I exposed a, a ticket quota, right? Illegal ticket quota in New York City, right? I was able to record supervisors and higher, you know, higher echelon characters in law enforcement that were enforcing a ticket quota on subordinate workers, forcing them to write 10 tickets a day, right? And that was in the Department of Sanitation, it was also in the uh, Department of Traffic, right? So, so in that process, right, I was able to expose it, but in terms of my own restitution for harm done, nada, zero. And that's what, that's what the McCabe story is really about. It's, it's, it's a, a dereliction of, of duty, but it's also a complete breakdown in the judicial system where courts and, you know, the people, they, mostly the courts, mostly the judges, the politicians, the mayors, the, the, the people under the mayor, the city council, you know, at higher government, Senate, House of Representatives, all of the, all of the, the, um, the federal judges, the state judges. Everybody, I mean, it's hard to believe, but everybody is, is in lockstep with each other, in cahoots, right? That's how deep the corruption has, has gotten. And where is the evidence? We, we see the evidence. I mean, all right, well, let's talk about, let's just talk about Trump's wall, and then I want to, I mean, I saw it, what I wanted to say is that I saw the corruption firsthand, and I know what it's like to, to go into a court with evidence, with powerful recorded evidence in their own words and then and have that evidence not heard not considered and have have uh, a case go totally against you when all the evidence was in your favor right and that's what we see over and over again and what keeps it in place right see that's the big thing right what keeps it in place and it's always 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 the money in politics always the flow of money Right? Who is paying off these politicians? Who pays off the judges? Right? How do they communicate the information back and forth? That's the biggest thing. Unless you get money out of politics, you'll never stop the banana republic. You'll never get. You'll never, you know, drain any swamp. You just exchange the swamp for a new set of swamp. The Democrats drain the Republican swamp, and then the Republicans drain the Democratic swamp, and it goes back and forth forever, and nothing ever gets done. Right? That's the reality. Of it. So Trump got 1.5 billion dollars to build the wall ah he's gonna lock down government he's gonna shut it down on the 15th that's today if you don't get his wall right that's what he said that's what he said right didn't he say that if i don't get my wall if i don't get my money for my wall i'll shut down the government again well it turns out he's not going to shut down the government again what he's going to do is he's going to take the shit Democratic deal loaded with pork, 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 right? Which means that there's all kinds of constraints inside of that bill that he's about to sign. And 
Trump has agreed to signing a, a bill that gives him $1.5 billion when he needs between five and eight billion to build his wall. Right? But he's gonna sign it anyway. These are all distractions, right? See, I, I took the bait, right? I'm gonna talk about it and I'm gonna talk about McKay because that's precisely where the mainstream media and the you know the corporate oligarchs, that's where they want us. They want us arguing back and forth, as if the fucking wall even matters. As if locking up Andrew McCabe is going to make a shit of difference, right? None of it makes a difference, but as long as we're fighting, because those people who fight to see McCabe locked up and get a wall built are, in theory, Republicans and pro-Trump. And all those opposed are pro whoever the shit sandwich the Democrats put up. You see how it works? Does it get to peace and justice? Does it get to eliminating the banana republic? I, I don't think so, no. There's no evidence that <laughs> says that, right? Because the money still flows in. So Trump is now going to sign a bill on his desk that gives him about $1.5 billion to do the dirty deal of building a wall that could go into $10 billion, $12 billion. Who the hell knows how much it's going to cost, right? It's almost always double what you expect. That's a good train. Of, that's a good actual rule of thought. Whatever you think it's going to cost, $5 billion, well, it'll cost 10 or 12 right? So he's not going to be able to do it. So what is he going to do? He's going to declare a state of emergency. He's going to take the money from some other place. And 10 years will go by and there still won't be any wall. Okay? So Trump folds, technically folds on the wall. I know, you don't want to hear it, but that's what's going on. Right? Because he, if you read the bill, who read, I didn't read no 1,200 pages of bill. But in that bill, there's evidence, there's all kinds of language in there that prevents him from building on the border, through this town, through that town, on federal property, uh, you got to ask this one. You got to ask that one for permission. They'll they'll lock him for years and years, right? On that on that fucking wall, right? So, sorry, no wall, right? And even if you do get the wall, I know people don't want to believe it, but it, it won't stop the flow of immigrants because the the art, the art of immigration at the border is just to put your foot down on U.S. soil and have the border police lock you up. So even if you get somehow swim across the Rio Grande right and run into the country that's all they'll ever that's all they'll do right and it doesn't stop you can't build a wall through a river and right? you know you, you just can't do it or you take a you take a boat and you run it up to the coast of Florida right? it's fucking it's just that's just the way it is right so that's the wall Trump loses on the wall the people that wanted that wall are gonna you know cry oh no fucking wall <laughs> Get over it, man. No wall. So, McCabe, this is big, right? This is probably one of the... This is the biggest story that talks about the depth of corruption and the depth of the banana republic. The, the, the total lopsidedness of our democracy. All right, so McCabe uh, initiated a... It's, it's confirmed... McCabe went on uh, 60 Minutes, and, and NBC 60 Minutes, and he confessed, right? We haven't seen the full interview, but the pieces that it's going to air on Sunday, but the, the pieces that we did see, and if you want to watch a real in-depth, I'm not going to go that into the details, watch Hannity. I know I bash Hannity, but Hannity is, in, in this respect, he's very good because he hates fucking Clintons and and he's very on top of he's got all his people on top of this particular truth right but then next week he'll be talking about Republican politics but watch his clip I'll leave the link down below and he talks about the details but essentially McCabe initiated an investigation into Trump days after Comey was fired remember when FBI when Trump fired Comey the next day McCabe initiated a an investigation into Trump-Russia collusion. And he said, maybe Trump, quote, maybe Trump was involved with the Russians. That's the head of the FBI initiating a, a, uh, an investigation 
into the President of the United States colluding with a foreign power, right? Almost like a spy ring, you know, like a, like a, like a spy operation. Trump was a, you know, some, right? and without any, without a speck of evidence, right? Right? Now, it, it, it's, it's so heavy, right? Right? That, that, that there, it's a witch hunt, right? When you in, initiate an investigation into the, the idea of, of Russian collusion or, or, or a, a, a publicly elected official conspiring with a foreign government to overthrow an election with no evidence, that's pretty heavy, right? And then we consider the Clintons themselves, right? See, it's really, so who is McCabe, right? You got to back up. Who is McCabe? McCabe took money from the Clintons, right? Through, what's that guy, Terry, Terry McAuliffe, the guy in the Virginia governor. He took $700,000 to run a failed campaign for his wife. They took the money directly from Clinton and, and the Clinton Foundation, right? So there he is compromised, right? And there he is trying to return the favor. But more so than that, right? There's a lot of very specific details of, of who these guys are and what they did, right? Hold on a second. Oh. Right. But the bigger picture is that McCabe was taking direct orders from, and Comey were taking direct orders from, the then uh, Attorney General Loretta Lynch, right? And who was she taking orders from? Obama, right? So it was a it was a widely known conspiracy to to discredit Trump and elevate Hillary Clinton into the White House, and it failed because they got caught cheating, right? And more more so, what it revealed, what what that case would have revealed, if if ever aired out properly, if we had, if we weren't a banana republic, would have shown the world that. The United States is all pay for play, right? It doesn't matter. The, 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 the idea that Trump colluded with a foreign nation is ridiculous when you consider that all the money that flows into the, the Clinton Foundation, that was the operation. Send it into the Clinton Foundation, funnel it into the DNC, and get our candidates elected, right? Our candidates, the Democrats elected, right? And it doesn't matter where the money comes, whether it's Saudi Arabia, whether it's, whether it's Pakistan. Any hostile nation can donate money to the Clintons, Clinton Foundation, <clears throat> and get a favor through the Democrats where that money hits, right? or allegedly hits. Hillary took it for herself. But anyway, that's, that's, the, that's the ramification of who, who Andrew McCabe is. Andrew McCabe is the guy... In, co in collusion with Peter Strzok, the FBI guy, who interviewed Hillary Clinton <clears throat> and made that, made that testimony go away, fudged it. And Comey com comes out and said, oh, oh, there's no precedence. No precedence. Why? Precedence? We need precedence. No one's ever been tried on, uh, 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 for, 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 for this, right? There's, nobody, there's no precedence for deleting emails, you know, <laughs> dumping 30,000 evidence emails that show the show the pay for play, the quid pro quo, the collusion between foreign entities, the Clinton Foundation and how those favors are dished out at the highest levels of state. Right? Trump didn't even come near any of that. Maybe Trump said, "Hey, hey, hey Russia. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking come on, man. Give me a fucking give me a casino." I want to put a casino in there. There's nothing. There's nothing in there, as the businessman Trump, right? So, so that's who. That's what's going on here, right? What else should I write down? So it's basically, and then there's another part of it, right? The soft coup, right? So, so not only did McCabe admit on national television that that he had no evidence, right? There was no evidence to suggest that Comey. And that there was Russian collusion between Trump, right? And that that invalidates the 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 Mueller investigation, which was based on fake Pfizer court. They lied to courts. They lied in courts and said they had evidence. The the dossier, the PP dossier that was paid for by the Clintons, right? So the Clintons are 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 negotiating with a foreign country, Russia, to to put a hatchet in. 
Trump's back. Now that is that is foreign. That's asking a foreign uh, a foreign country for assistance. That's the definition of what they're trying to pin on Trump. But there is no there's no discussion of that anymore, right? And the idea that Mueller could, couldn't see that. But you see, you see how lopsided the judicial system is. That it doesn't. It 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 suits the it suits the money, the flow of money. Who's giving the money? The corporations, the oligarchs. The, the I know everybody likes it, the 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 uh, the fucking the the Rothschilds, the Soros. Uh, it's if you deflate the, the look, they the, the way those companies, the way those individuals, billionaires, make their money is in the casino known as Wall Street. The the stock market, the the equity markets, the oil markets, commodity markets, right? That's real estate. That's how they make their money. Right? And if you if you tax these people down to size, right? If you cut them down to size and you enforce the antitrust laws and break up these big banks, break up these corporations that are now monopolies, you then reduce the flow of money considerably into the wrong hands, into the corrupt hands. And then you start to get a freer democracy. You start to get a judicial that actually judges that actually vote on the that actually judge on the on the evidence and not the popular opinion. Understand? Right? See what we have is is like let's make a deal. It's 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 the price is right. Right? It's like a fucking TV show when you go to courts. Who gave 20 grand? Who gave 50 grand? Right? Who do we owe a favor to? That's really what what our judicial and Senate and the Senate and the and Congress supported, right? Without question, without hesitation, support this kind of shit, right? So, so, so McCabe admits, allegedly admits in this interview that we're going to see on Sunday, that they they set up a meeting inside some offices of state to plan a soft coup to initiate the 25th Amendment, which is to get Trump's cabinet, the majority of Trump's cabinet, to vote against him and get rid of him. This was the plan based on no evidence, just a, a hunch right, to overthrow an elected president and appoint an unelected individual, which would have been Pence. Right? It's it's staggering when you think about what what's happening and, and there's there'll be no consequence. McCabe will never he lost his job. Yeah, well he just wrote a book and he'll get a million dollars to write the book. Now, you see how that works? He'll get a job, he'll get a nice cushy job because he took a hit for the team, you know. That's how that works. So they'll never they'll never serve any time. Right? And and here we are. We'll spin our we'll spin our wheels again and get irate about it. How 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 horrible and and terrible it is. And we'll go back to our computers and we'll go back to our slave jobs, two and a half jobs, overworked, underpaid, right, right. And, and we'll we'll wait for we'll wait for some mystical magical person on the internet to tell us everything is going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Ah, uh, take a breath after all that. A couple of people in the park today. Put my glove on, my hand is freezing. It's not so cold today, it's 40 degrees in New York. So it'll be interesting to watch. Trump, no wall. Sorry. Right. It was a nice idea, it was a good play, right? but let go of it, you know, leave it alone. Right. Sometimes you just gotta eat it, you know? I mean, it's devastating. The, the most devastating part of it is that we see that we have courts that don't work. We have Congress and Senate that no longer works for the people. Right? It's it all works in favor of the oligarchy and and now the discussion will shift away from the coup in Venezuela. Right? The the narrative will switch away from the French Revolution Act 14 which starts tomorrow. Right? In France. Right? No yellow vest, no Venezuela coup, no discussion there. No discussion of, you know, the corporate tax rate, 
I think Amazon just reported that they'll be paying zero again in tax. And that doesn't piss people off. You know, $50, $100 billion that doesn't hit the economy. And you've got, you've got hundreds of these corporations that do it. And people are okay with that. Because if you're not okay with it, then you're a fucking socialist. It's crazy, right? Even yesterday, I was at the, uh, the climate change rally, right? And, and even that is socialism, right? Oh, you want solar? That's socialist. You can't, I mean, it's totally, people are totally fucking, I know everybody thinks they're so smart. Oh, no, we, we're fucking smart. We're truthers. We know what's going on. We know the inside scoop on the deep state. All right, we're going to lock them up. We're gonna, they're all going to get locked up. Rosenstein. Rosenstein wore a wire, too. You heard about that. That was another part of the story. I forgot to mention that. That Rosenstein admits that there's evidence that Rose, Rosenstein was going to wear a wire inside the White House and, and try to trick Trump into saying something stupid. Compromise the president. And that's okay. No consequence. You get the pink pussy hats. Yeah. Lock them up. At any, at, any, at any expense, it doesn't matter. They're willing to break the law. They're willing to bend the law as long as it favors them. And the Trumpsters, yeah, they're willing to do the same thing. Put Hillary in Guantanamo. Military tribunal. <laughs> One of the most unconstitutional things on earth. Special counsels. Why is there a special, special counsel? Because the regular counsel doesn't work anymore. Senate and Congress. It doesn't, it's not able to do its job anymore because of the money in politics. It's the money. <laughs> it's the money in politics. Your last shot of my bridge before I go-go. Ah. Beautiful bridge, right? Marcus Conti reporting.